Welcome to video 7 of the Lazarus tutorial series where we learn to use GameMaker Studio 2. So far in this series we have learned the highlighted skills here on our way towards learning how to create a game in which instances change in response to objects surrounding them. Now so far with our tutorial series we've completed the Lazarus object which makes which what squashes by boxes and jump left and right but can't jump if they're two boxes high. We've created the boxes um, object, the whole range of them, the cardboard, the wood, the metal and the stone. The boxes appear in the bottom left hand corner and then will appear above Lazarus and will move falling down. We have created a pit of boxes, we've got a background image there and we've had to correct a few errors along the way and test it and make sure there's no errors. Now in this video we're just going to have a little bit of an addition here, an aesthetic addition, which is actually outside the specifications. So as I said, we sometimes you, as you design, you come up with an idea which is outside the specification, which is okay, as long as you can justify it while you're putting this one in. So today, we go on this video, we're going to put in a an afraid Lazarus, who's going to um, be concerned when he has boxes too high either side of him, he can't jump and he's going to, just going to sit there and be afraid. So that's just... A little aesthetic addition we're going to add in. Okay so here we are back in Game Maker Studio so it's going to be quite a short and simple little video so what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically check whether Lazarus, let's see if we can bring a room up to show you, so let's bring um, the room up, so if Lazarus is trapped so if and Lazarus is over here and if there's walls here and here and here and here so basically he can't go anywhere he's just going to sit there and die we're just going to change the sprite, and so the sprite isn't this happy little fella, but is more of a worried, afraid little Lazarus. So, um, what we need to do first off is we need to create a new sprite. So right mouse click, create a sprite, and I'm going to import this one here, Lazarus Afraid, and go open. Yes, and we can see here that he's going to be a, I'll give it a bit of speed, 24. So he's just going to be blinking and worried. I'm not sure if he's blinking too fast there. Let's slow that back down. Right. So, oh. Top, no. Top left. Right, yeah. So, um, we need to go in and edit the sprite. And we need to select the first frame and the last frame by holding shift down. And go color remove tool to transparent. Done. Okay, close it off, call this SPR underscore um, afraid, I think it'll be good enough. Afraid, make sure the origin is at zero, zero, or the top left origin, and our sprite is now made. So now we need to go into the Lazarus object, because it's still going to be the Lazarus object. But what we're going to do is just change the sprite to be a different sprite. So have a look in the object here. Object Lazarus stand. That's in there. Okay, so in part of our step, we need to check if any object is below them. We've got a second one to check after that. Radio. So that's his falling one. So if any object is not below them, yep, that means he'll be falling. So now we need to do an again an if any object. So let's see if I find where that is. Instance, no, any instance. Um, collisions, if any object. And basically what we're going to do, so if if he's not falling, which is if there's not an object below him, so there's an object below him, he's not falling. Now we just need to check with there's an object, if there's a box to his left, box to his right, a box to um, left and up and a box to right and up. So let's do the first one. If um, if x is 40 relative, um, so if there's an object, if any object is at x 40 relative and y 40 relative, so that's um, the as a box to his right. So there's an ob any object there. Um, so that's the first one. We need to add more in because we need to make sure there's actually four boxes around him. So it's got to be an object to his right, an object to the right and up, and both of those are relative. And as well as there being an object to 
the left, just leaving a 40, and an object at the, oh, that didn't quite work, let's just and make it bigger. So you can see, this actually has to be over here. If there's an object at the left and the up, and they're all relative, make sure they're all relative. So, if it passes these four conditions, so there has to be object to his right, an object to the right and up, an object to the left, and an object to the left and up. So if it passes all those four, in that case, we want to set the sprite. So let's go set sprite. Let me see, where is set sprite? Um, instant set sprite. So we need to change the sprite to little afraid, holding shift, clicking and dragging, set sprite in here, and we want to change the sprite to um, afraid. Radio. So sprite afraid. So object passes all those passes. So that's it. Let's go have a look in the room and see if it works. So let's run you. Running. There we are. So I need to jump over here. Actually, over here to have two spaces. All right, and then back up here. And this is going to be a crate, so it's going to crush that. <sighs> up here, cardboard can go on that. Wood can go on there. So now, when this wood comes down, if I jump over here, as soon as that lands, he should change. And he doesn't. Which is disappointing. And that's that error I couldn't find. Okay, let's just give that a try again. F5. Well, I've just managed to duplicate that error I couldn't duplicate before. So, I'm going to go off and do some exploring. I'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm back with one of those wonderful teachable moments. I managed to locate where that error was, and I'll just do a little bit of um, the troubleshooting that I did to work that out. So, I started realizing that it was to do with the cardboard box, and the problem was not the cardboard, but the wooden box. The problem was when the wooden box would not, um, when it didn't, when it landed on top of one of the boxes like this, so the metal box, that this box wouldn't sprout back up here. But if it's landing on other stuff, it would. So that made me think it was something to do with the falling box object. So I opened up the, the falling wood object and I had a look and when it changed into when it hit another object it changed to object wood when it hit the wall it changed into that but when it hit stone and metal it didn't change it just changed into falling which means it wouldn't trigger the next one so let's just make these into object wood and this one here object wood so now he's done that let's give it a go there and see so this is often the problem with computers it's very difficult to identify the error if you can't replicate it and if you remember the last video I thought I had solved it because I couldn't replicate the error but now I've identified what a simple pattern that actually does replicate it let's see if this has actually solved the problem so you come down here and I want another box to fall yay right now it's time to see let's do a restart it's time to see whether Lazarus does turn into frayed Lazarus because that's what we initially were testing so this here and I can go over there and he can come over and crush him and I go back over here and he lands up on that and we go back on top of this one here when he falls down 
this lens it didn't change why didn't it change mm. okay so some more troubleshooting let's have a look Ah, the curses of computers. They only do what you tell them to do, not what you think you told them to do. So the error in my ways was I forgot to click this little relative here for the Y0. So while it was looking to the right of Lazarus, it was also looking to the right at the very top row. So if I tick this, radio, and if I close it up, and if I press play, hopefully she'll work this time. Or not, and just make a fool of me again. So let's go this way, back up here. Now you notice that the boxes are always falling in a similar pattern. That's because in computers, random numbers aren't genuinely random. They start from a seed, and they start working randomly from that. So let's see, does it change? Yes, see? He's a little worried, Lazarus, and he's worried because this is going to happen to him. Oh, okay, so finally that's the end of the video as well as correcting a couple of errors and troubleshooting the whole lot. We got the full kit of caboodle a bit more than what we had intended. Well there we go, we've got a quaking Lazarus and you can see that we didn't actually make any more additional specifications so we've just added that in. Um, so he's been done and it'll be no surprise that we actually haven't learnt any new skills in this video. We've been applying the skills we've learnt so far in this series and the previous two series. Um, so that's it. We now have our little quaking Lazarus.